This shift kit comes with very complete instructions from UUC. There's full disassembly that you've been watching us do all the way through these pages. And right now, we're up to these pages here, installing the new Dalrin bushings in our support arm, the new clip, and then assembling the tower into the support arm and moving further on back to the vehicle to uh, assemble the support arm into the vehicle. So with that, here we have our support arm. We're going to remove the original bushing. Now this is rubber, but this one is, uh, it's rather hard from being old. So what I'm going to do is cut the flange off so it's easier to take off. All right, now I've got the flange cut off. Notice there's a steel sleeve in the center. You can't just cut it straight off. So I just cut the flange off. Now we can push that bushing out. And we're going to clean that. Clean the grease out. And we've got some lubricant that comes with the kit. We'll lubricate the inside of the hole a bit. And this is our new Dalrin bushing. This is a split bushing. We'll lubricate the outside. Slip it into the hole. Take the other half, lubricate it. Going to the other side. Okay, now that is the bushing. Remember, in the car it's installed this way if this is the front of the vehicle. And the pin is what goes through here to hold it at the transmission. And that's purposefully tight. We'll take care of that before we go on. We'll make sure it goes in there nice and clean. Now we need to assemble the tower that supports the new shifter. And to do so, we'll take the Loctite that's supplied with the kit. And put it in a little drop into each hole, each threaded hole. Okay, now you see the slots on the support arm. We'll go in so the holes line up with the slots. Then we take our set screws and go three on each side. This will secure the tower extension into the support arm. Don't tighten just one. Get all six in before you do any tightening. Evenly tightened. We're ready for the next stage, which is installing the shifter lever. Now that we have the tower assembled to the arm, we'll assemble the shifter into the tower. Now notice the two bushings on the ball, which cup it upper and lower. Also notice there's a very slight angle to the shifter. We can put it in any way we want right now, since it will turn. But once it's in the vehicle, we want that angle to go slightly toward the rear. For the moment, it doesn't matter. We're going to put a small amount of lubricant on the ball. Insert it down into the support arm. And then we would put the spring. This goes all the way down in. I'm not going to press it in just yet goes in like that. The spring goes down and then the snap ring on top to hold it all together. Before we put that in, we do need to assemble the support arm into the vehicle. Then we put the shifter in once it's in the vehicle. Now looking at the rest of the parts here, after the shifter is in, support arm is in and the shifter is in, we'll take the uh, double shear rod, we'll install that, we'll install the forward connector which 
while it's out of the vehicle, notice the rubber pad inside. When we push this up onto the end of the shift rod coming out of the transmission, we'll compress that rubber pad. That's so it's tight. We push it in. We install this pin into the hole, which goes through the end of the shift rod to hold that together. Once that's all together, we push this clip forward until it's in the snap ring. Then this is assembled on the vehicle. The double shear rod goes over it. The pins go through. We use these yellow washers if we need to take up any space. And then finally, the clips go on to secure the pins. These two bushings assemble on the bottom of the shift rod. Again, the DSSR goes here and assembles with the through pin similar to the other end. Once we have all of that together, the shifter itself is complete. Let's go ahead and install this uh, support arm back in the vehicle. Here we'll install the arm onto the car, push it forward, then rearward into the rear mount, and work the front mounting eye down into the bracket on the transmission. Line the front eye up in preparation for the through pin. Here we have our new pin supplied with the kit. We'll install it with the clip facing upward till we have it fully installed. Then we'll rotate the clip down and attach it to the transmission rib. Now we'll install the forward connector. Slide the pin into the hole on the connector to prep it for installation. Push the connector up and push forward on the connector to compress the rubber pad inside and push the pin in. Once the pin is started, we can finish pushing it in with a pair of channel lock pliers. And then we'll slide the clip forward to lock the pin in place. We'll now install the DSSR with the through pin. Use as many yellow washers as are needed so that the clip is secure once you put it on and the pin doesn't have any play. Slide the clip into place. And that end is complete. We'll now go up top and install the shifter. Here we are back in the interior. You can see we have the shifter support installed. Here's our shifter. We have a wire tie holding the bottom bearing assembly together. Here's our lubricated bushings, our spring, our upper cap, and the snap ring. We'll insert the shifter down into the support, noting that the bolt head on the shifter is facing forward. This will keep the shifter at the right angle. Insert the shifter and the bushings straight down into the support arm tower. Once the bushings are in, push the spring down. Slide down the upper washer cup over the spring. And we'll push that down in the tower as well as we slide our snap ring down and insert it into the recess in the tower. We'll use snap ring pliers push the ring down in. Just make sure it's stacked properly on the upper cap washer and the spring. Once the clip is in, just make sure it's secure. And at that point, our upper assembly is complete on the shifter. We can then reassure that the bolt is facing the front and this is the end of the bolt sticking out the rear. The bolt head goes to the front. Now we have the shifter in place. We're ready to install it to the DSSR. We'll remove our wire tie. Note the bushing flanges. 
Push the DSSR up over the end of the shifter over the bearing flanges. And again, we'll install the through pin just like we did with the forward connector. And we'll finish up with the yellow washers and the snap clips. Again, putting on as many washers under the head of the through pin and or under the clip as are required. Okay, and with that, your shifter installation is actually complete. In order to finish the job fully, we just need to reinstall the drive shaft and the exhaust system, at which point the vehicle is fully ready to drive. Now notice when we're on the interior here how nice and smooth the shifter is, the throws are nice and short, and the play in the shifter is practically non-existent. Now with everything complete, please hit your like button if you liked what you've seen here today. Now go on out there and have a great BMW drive.